What's up guys? Real quick, I wanna kinda talk about what I'm doing right here. I'm catching a few fish here and there. The bite is pretty much stopped, except for there's a bunch of schooling going on up in the shallows. And I, for the, some odd reason, cannot catch one up there. I mean, they're busting, they're doing all kinds of other stuff. Frustrating. Can't catch them on a frog, can't catch them on, on anything. Flipping, pitching, everything. And so I got kind of frustrated, but what I did is I pulled out of that grass. If there's fish in that grass, it also means there's fish out here a little bit deeper on that outside edge of the grass. Um, and they're feeding too. They're just not schooling. So what I've done is pulled out to, the grass ends at nine feet and I pulled out to 11 feet. But the, really the goal is to pull out to where you are um, one half of a cast from that grass line. Kind of have to keep it in your mind of where it is, but then you go ahead and you just, what I did is I, oops, let me show you what I rigged up. Duh. I rigged up, uh, basically I rigged up a, a little pegged Texas rig. I'm going to get this real close to the lens so you guys can see it. A little pegged Texas rig with a flipping hook and a rage bug. Um, but honestly, the, one of the best things to do is to take, and this is a, a 3 8 ounce weight, I probably should go to a quarter ounce, um, but I, I knew that the rage bug would, would take forever to fall because of all of the, the appendages and all the kicking it does as it falls. So I wanted something a little bit heavier. Um, and, uh, but for, for most other things, like a ribbon tail worm, which is my favorite thing to worm uh, to use, like a, a Zoom Old Monster or, or a Mag 2, uh, I always go with a quarter ounce because of the way it falls, the rate it falls, but, and also because it goes through the grass a lot easier. But I'm sitting here in 12, 11, 12 foot of water, a half a cast from the outside grass line, and I'm basically just casting it out and letting it sink into the grass and I'm just dragging it back just like it would be drug on the bottom. And that's all I'm doing. And I'm bringing it through that grass until I hit that outside grass line. And one out of 20 casts, one out of 30 casts, I get bit. Just a matter of very slowly. This is a painstakingly slow process and slow way to catch fish when they're up schooling and you want to go up there and chase them. But I promise you, this is where the good ones lay and this is where you'll get, you're more likely to get bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and cast a little bit. I gotta go home in a few minutes. It's a long drive home and I got a video I wanna edit for tomorrow, but I'm gonna try to catch one and show you how it's done. But I'm casting it out. I've got this on a heavy action rod. You could probably use a medium heavy if you're throwing a quarter ounce. Braided line to a fluorocarbon leader. Because I'm fishing grass and grass edges, I like a, a heavier braided line. This is a, this is Seaguar Smackdown 60 pound or 50 pound to, uh, to a fluorocarbon leader. Okay, and so what will happen as you're bringing it through that grass, you'll get hung in that grass. And this is hydrilla. You can do this with milfoil uh, sometimes of the year. There are certain times of the year I think that milfoil um, is a little bit tougher to break. But uh, I drag it through and as if I get hung in the grass, let me see if I can find a piece of grass that I get hung in get hung in the grass and I can't pull it out, it's simply just drop to a slack line just a little bit and pop. And that's all it is and it pops right through that hydrilla. And uh, a lot of times it causes a reaction strike if there's a bass close by. But that's not what my, my goal is. My goal is to get this bait to the outside grass line and work it real slow. Okay, so the reason I'm choosing a rage bug and I'm dying the tail or the uh, the little claws, chartreuse and JJ's magic, is uh, is when they kick. So alternatively, well, first of all, the tail of a bluegill is chartreuse, or it looks chartreuse in the water, and uh, when they kick like this, it almost looks like two bait fish. And the bait fish on this lake are real, or right now are really, really, really small. And so that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, well, maybe if I get them a small claw that, that flutters and kicks, it'll look like two bait fish. And so far it seems to be working. But uh, just you know, making it a small profile. I'd love to use a, a vile craw or something like that. They're just, it's just too big. I need a small, small bait this time of year. And this can be done with any soft plastic, really. A trick worm, you know, any straight tail worm, a plasma tail, 
a, a vile craw or any craw bait, just, just about anything will do it. I just always take into consideration the fall rate according to my weight. But, you know, you can even go as light as a 16th ounce if you want to. You just have to, it'll force you to fish it slower. You guys see I'm stuck in that grass and I'm just ripping it through. And I am working it so slow. I mean, eat a sandwich slow, you know, it's just, oh, there's one. Came out of that grass and I usually don't set the hook that fast, but he took it and he took it hard. Uh, usually what you do is you let him take it for, you know, a second or two before you set the hook. Eh, nice little fish. Not huge, but at this point in time and this this time of the day, I'll take anything. It's likely to be pretty big sitting out here. But that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch a big one. But like I said, I've got to haul tail and get to the house real quick. I'll give this about 10 more minutes. And if I catch one, I'll put it at the end of the video. Well, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel, let me help you teach them how to fish. This is the last day to, uh, to join the Fishing Shirt of the Month Club and enter to win a fishing trip with me by buying both shirts last month and this, this month. So for 20 bucks. Um, subscribe to this channel, but more importantly, get out of the water, go ahead and catch some fish, and have a great day. There's one. <clears throat> Look at that funky little fish. Huh. Y'all gotta see this. That poor guy ain't got no upper lip. <laughs> oh. Look at this. See if I can do this without him flopping. He ain't got no upper lip. <laughs> too funny, too funny. But he ate. Mm. This might be a little bit better one. Oh yeah, good one. Really good one. Ah! <laughs> Yes. That's more like it. <laughs> Pow. All right. Well, it's time to go home. <laughs> Ooh. That feels like a fish. Oh, grass. It's just weird. Might be a fish, yep, that is. Ooh, big one. another one sorry I couldn't go home my gosh yes <laughs> pow <laughs> let's get the oh man I thought I had grass and I thought I had grass I thought I had grass and nope I had a four pounder <laughs> bang oh just drag it through the grass Golly, this is awesome. 